Hey guys, Roger Wakefield here coming to you live and I am actually trying to shut down over here. Maybe. Lilybet, Alyssa. All right, it'd be nice to have some help around here. Please shut that down. Perfect. So I did get my help in here. Uh, if y'all see, this is Lily Bet. Uh, Lily Bet. No, that was shut down. That was good. Oh, you can take those or take both those. Perfect. So here we are in the main studio. Yes. Thank you to everybody who jumped over from Instagram and TikTok. We have had fun over there. Tonight, we're talking about starting your own business, starting a successful business. And it's funny because we've been talking about this all day. So if you're new here, yeah. Sometimes there's a train wreck when it starts. Sometimes there's not. We'll jump into the chat here in just a moment. We are live on YouTube right now. So if you're finding this video later, do me a favor. Hang around. Visit. Check it out. See if it's something that you like. If you found this because you got on here searching for something and you just kind of stumbled across it, man, we got some good people in here. You might listen to it. But if you're looking for something in particular, go ahead. Go into the YouTube channel itself, search it, see what you can find, and hopefully you find what you're looking for. So I'm going to jump into the chat real quick. And we have already got a lot of comments. What's the UG for our James Fox podcast? Come on. All right. As y'all see at the top of the live chat, there is a link there that if you got a question you want to guarantee gets answered, jump into the forum, go over there and answer it. You'll be good. Matus Luskan says, uh, hey, aha, uh -huh. there you go. You just followed me over. I like that. Plano Techna, how are you doing? Good to see you. Matus Luskan says, how long have you been plumbing for? And what was the start? How did you get into the trades at all? I started plumbing in 1980. A real good friend of mine told me about his dad and his three brothers that were in the trades. Man, it was fantastic. Started then, loved it, and been doing it ever since. Paul Bonney, you are right. We are live. Welcome to the show. And Gonzalo Death Metal Olivares from Chile. Good to have you in here. Norm well, I'm already there. I was just saying, normally we're 50. Everybody that's in here, if you would do me a favor, drop a message in here and tell me where you're at and what you do. Where are you located and, and what are you in? Are, are you in the trades? Uh, I get a lot of people in here that aren't even in the trades. I love it. But, man, just do me a favor. Drop me a note. Let me know who you are and what you do. Derek Pearson says, Roger, do you wear rubber gloves to clean? And it depends on what I'm cleaning. Uh, no, normally, I don't. But, uh, you know, look, if there's something on that I don't want on me, maybe so. Hello. How are you doing? Uh, Patrick Sims says, what's up, buddy? Go Vols. You, you know what? Man, Tennessee's looking good this year. I'm for a different color orange team, the Longhorns, but you know what? They're not having a lot of luck right now. Uh, hello from Lodowisi, Georgia. How are you doing? Evans? Architectural sheet metal is in the house. Good to see you guys. That's another channel. If you want to see how things are done pretty cool, jump over and check it out. Charles Strong says, I sent 150 a cable down a sewer to remove many large root intrusions. 
camera inspection shows the sewer is only 95 feet. Things that make you say, hmm, pretty interesting. Hello to Mr. Sean Strong. If you don't know him, boom, underscore the plumber. If you want to see how we do a lot of the stuff we do, jump over on our subreddit and our TikTok. I'm sorry, subreddit and our Discord group. Uh, Sean Strong helped on all that. And that's a great job. Uh, there's the link to the subreddit right there. Man, guys, if you got pictures, videos of anything that you think our group might, might, might like to see, or you may want to end up in one of my videos one day, do me a favor and put it in there. Got Knoxville, Dallas, Texas. I'm in Dallas. Uh, Bending up some trim on a $60,000 siding job. Standing seam even goes on walls. Yeah, but the standing seam roofs are beautiful. I love that. All right, all right. <clears throat> so let me jump back into the comments real quick. I know I'm still coughing. Believe that. Uh, Matthew Scott, I am doing fantastic. All right, so we're right there. Colin Norton says, hardest part I found is to get the phone ringing consistently and getting insurance work. Kyle, here, here's the deal. A lot of the big companies, man, they get out and they suck up all the insurance work they can get. It does make it tough on us smaller companies. My thing, I'll tell you what I did. I got out and started. I got out and started networking with real estate agents and just networking in general. If it's something that you want to do, let me know and I can connect you with a networking group here in town. That's great, Kyle. Matthew Scott says, hi, how are you? We are amazing. Uh, and Kyle, a good thing too about that networking group is, man, they have a lot of insurance people in them, so they may be able to hook you up. So it's up to you. Sean Strong says, oh, everyone's having a great Monday. Narf Rignertz says, hey, Roger, I am in the Navy as a plumber. I am overseas right now. Hoping to start a career when I get out. Number one, Narf, that, that is fantastic. I love that. Because we're always talking about when the military transitions to civilian, what can they do? And I'll tell you what, I would hire military people all day long if it was up to me. The good thing is, Narf, when you get out, number one, you've got a mindset. You, you know what it's like to start something, to build something, to grow something. Man, you can get out and do really, really well in the trades. So I don't know what part of the country you're headed to or anything like that, but good luck and thank you for your service. I do appreciate it. My father was in the Navy, so thank you very much. Brett Baker from Northern PA. And, Brett, I was up in Erie, PA, God, the beginning of last week, I think, maybe the week before. It's been a little while now. <laughs> Flew into Pittsburgh, drove to Erie. Drove back to Pittsburgh, flew to Houston, flew to Fort Lauderdale, and then came home. Long week. Clint Long says, just got my master's a year ago. Congratulations to you. Uh, hoping soon to be out on my own, Dodge City, Kansas. And that is cool. Uh, Devin Henderson says, if you had $100,000 to start a new company up, where would you invest it first to get the ball rolling? Mm. Devin, this is good. Because my thought is I would probably invest it in my vehicle and the marketing. I would want a good looking branded vehicle. I'd want marketing to make the phone ring, but I also want to make sure that I've invested in like Jobber. Uh don't know if y'all can even see the toolbox over here. Uh you know, what I like about Jobber is they've got software to help me do a lot of the back end stuff that I need for, for estimates, invoicing, uh, and all kinds of fun stuff. Then I would get out and network. And, and that's what I was talking about. a while ago to, I think it was, was it Matthew who's in Dallas? Uh, talking to one of the guys from Dallas saying, saying look, I would get out and network. Yeah, Kyle Norton. There you go. Journeyman Plumber, Dallas, Texas. So, so Kyle, uh, yeah, I would get out and network. I Man, I made my phone blow up doing that. I like that very much. 
Uh, good money in the trades, man. You know, you know what? What's neat? I think there's great money in the trades. Uh, it really does help to have a good, solid profession to fall back on. Devin Henderson, Knoxville, Tennessee plumber. Matus Lascon says, I've been in the trade since 14, 15 years old, maybe last December. Started on my own service and repairs mainly. More than 10 plus brands considering and traditional order. There you go. High Peaks Home says, Sarnak Lake, New York Carpenter. Now we got people all around the country in here. Uh, James Cooper says, learn a lot from you, Roger, and enjoy your videos. Thank you for all you do. Well, number one, thank y'all. Uh, y'all being in here, y'all watching the videos, sharing the videos, commenting on the videos, giving me thumbs up on the videos and live streams and everything else. Guys, that's what it's all about. That lets YouTube and other social platforms know that we're doing something right. And man, I love it. Thank y'all. Austin Jones is Kansas City Master Plumber started a plumbing department at my friend's HVAC business. Man, that's good because Texas Green Plumbing, as you saw on the board a second ago, I sold to an HVAC company down the street. Now I work with them as a master plumber and helping them do things through marketing. I love it. it. It was such a good bond between two companies. Alfie Travers says, hello again, Roger. Made it to the stream for the awesome content you post. Thank you very much. So how many of y'all have your own company or want to have your own company? If you do, if, if you have one, put hashtag own. If you want one, put hashtag want. <laughs> if you eventually want to have your own company. David Regan says, Ohio HVAC associate's degree, currently a stock trader <clears throat> and real estate investor. I saw the word business, so I dropped by. Well, number one, David, thank you for being here. I appreciate that. Good to see you in here. Waterman Plumbing, Cleveland, Tennessee. Good to see you as always. Facebook user here just says Philadelphia. Thank you very much. Uh, I was up by you a couple of weeks ago. Gabriel Mack says, what's up, Roger? Fort Wayne, Indiana, currently at landscaping, but getting ready to switch over to the season ends. Switch over once the season ends. I'm very excited about it. So my question, Gabriel, is what do you switch over to? And two says, I also do some old boilers like cast iron. Uh, don't do all, but would like to one day. Like to get into industrial work too. Currently have papers for a 50 kilowatt. Sean Strong, put the link in there for the subreddit and the Discord group. <clears throat> Matu said he'd like to expand more and more. And I've already got questions in the form. So I'm going to go ahead and jump over in there and see what kind of questions I'm being asked. Carlos is in plumbing. Says, hey, I'm from New Jersey. 19 years old, just finished my first year of my apprenticeship. Any tips you could give me? Man, you kind of right spot for tips. Here, here, here's what I'll tell you. Never stop learning. You know, a lot of people in the trades, uh, especially the unions, because they've got a training program, so they go to school for like five years. Then they get out and they're, they're licensed. They've got a, a journeyman job, maybe a foreman job, something like that. They quit learning. What I want to tell you is keep learning. Learn leadership. Learn management. Learn communications. Learn construction management. <clears throat> learn personality styles. Learn what motivates people. If you can do all that, man, you will continue to grow and make more money because everybody wants to work for someone that knows what they're talking about. And if you learn all that, man, it will help you out. Matu said he would like to learn more and expand. Michael Taylor says, I have inch and a half galvanized vent pipe going through the roof. Should I pull those out and change them to PVC? I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily worry about what's going through the roof. I'd worry what's in the walls and underground. 
Timothy says, hello there. How are you? How do you get a bigger pay raise in the industry? You learn more. This is what I teach, Timothy. Number one, when you get in and get your first job, you've got to know how to negotiate. You've got to learn how to get as much money as you can up front. But then you've got to learn things that will help you grow to help you become more valuable to your company. When you can do more, you become more valuable and you'll make more. And it really does work that well. Javier Vasquez says, my favorite plumber besides myself. Thank you very much. Matu says, I have an advantage over my surname because it's in trade for more than 40 years in my hometown. <clears throat> but anyway, since this is my first year, not as bad as I thought, it would be pretty satisfied. Good for you. Philadelphia owner of Economy Drain Cleaning and Plumbing. Mr. Jamela says, I saw recently someone converted a two-handle to a single-handle years ago instead of hard popping into a new valve. Used inch and a half by half ready supply, mount adapters, the delta valve. If it works, it works. Yeah, but just because something works doesn't mean it's right. You know, I could cut out a piece of copper that had a hole in it, take garden hose, put it on each end and clamp it down. It's liable to work. Still doesn't mean that it's right. If you're in here for value, guys, we try to bring it. We want to, to give you the value that you need to help you get in the trades, become a better tradesman, start your own company, or even learn to use networking and social media to grow it. You want it? Ask, ask our opinion. We'll give it to you. Good thing is I've got a lot of other plumbers that get in here. Please. If you've got questions, man, I respect these guys. Sean Strong's in here. Uh, Steve Arlo is normally in here. Architectural sheet metal's in here. Uh, construction cronies is sometimes in here. We get a lot of people. So, man, I'm just saying, look, please, if you got questions, put them in there. These guys normally get to them before I do, and they're good. Vince has just got, ben Landers has just got my first plumbing job today, starting on Monday. Thank you, Roger. You led me to this path. Ben, what what made you want to get into plumbing? What was it that you heard? You said, you know what? I want to try this. I'm just curious. Look at that on. I so said, you're a blessing to this generation of tradesmen. Number one, thank you very much. I love what I do, and I promise you, and I have fun. Ben Landry's from Rhode Island. That's good. I love that. Javier Vasquez says, starting my own company this year. Thank you for this. I know nothing about business, but know a lot of code and plumbing. Seriously. Thank you, Roger. Or Roger, thank you. So number one, here's what I want to tell you is make sure you've got your licensing right. Make sure you've got your insurance right. Make sure you've got your name registered. You've got a website phone number. And there's so many different things. What all have you already started doing? What all have you started putting in place up here? I will says Houston journeyman plumber. I've done in Houston on the 11th. Great place to be. Went to a place called either the dog wood or the dog house. It was great. But two says, I personally love every tradesman that doesn't do it for the money. That's a big fact and big up big up from me there's really not that many guys that do trades for passion like me and here's what's good about that is i love plumbing don't get me wrong i make good money at it and i always have but man i love what i do and that's why i recruit so hard brett baker says electrician here Love seeing trades doing amazing work. Isn't that neat? Architectural sheet metal owns their own business already. That's good. Kenneth Bradley with Jack of Hearts Plumbing, LLC of Austin, Texas. Wanted to see what you use for a sewer camera and jetter. Just picked up a rigid sea snake and Frankenstein the jetter. So the jetters that we use are general. I've never had a problem with them. 
the cameras. I love the new Milwaukee's. I actually made a video about it. So I'm just telling you, it's good stuff. Okay, so Devin Henderson wants his own. Ben Landry wants to. Dylan Bowles, Joe Harmon, James Cooper, Alfie Shivers. The Facebook user says they're an owner. Austin B. wants one. Justice for All owns one. David Reagan wants one. Ty Will wants one. Good deal. So most people want one, but there are some owners in here too. She says, because at least here there's so many people that do it just for the money. Yeah, that it looks how it looks. Okay, got no one owns one. My two, Javier, about to own one. Good for you. Mike Edwards has been running a fireplace service person for 22 years and on my own for 15 years. Getting extra training for the HVAC is extra ground, guys, to make more money. Look, guys, anything we can learn can help us make more money. And that's why we always talk about learning your way up. It doesn't matter what job you have, what position you're in, anything at all. You can learn your way up out of anything. Now, while I'm talking about that, I'm learning new things. <clears throat> Starting next Saturday, we're going live at 11 o'clock in the morning, 11 to 1. So if you have time, love for y'all to jump in here. If you don't have time, I understand it. I'm trying to click it out on a replay, please. All right, back over in the forum. And like I said, Carlos, never stop learning. Hey, Frank, got you taken care of there already. Thank you. Hi, Peaks Home, Sean Doom. This is networking opportunities, plumbing supply houses, realtors, and caretakers. I saw a handful right there, but yes. Dylan Bowles, North Texas Custom Plumbing. I like that name. Kenneth Bradley owns Jack of Hearts Plumbing and Construction, LLC. Ryan says, hello from the Pop Fitters Local Union, number 597. Chicago, Illinois. Man, I love that. That's one place I want to go. You know, it's funny. In all my travels, I've never been to Chicago. But I want to go there and speak. Now, you're in the Potters Union. Did you know uh, Robert Melko out of Chicago? He used to own Bishop Plumbing. And I thought that guy was fantastic. This is what would you tell your younger self in starting trades, being in the position you are now? It would be interesting to hear. Never stop learning. <laughs> Next comment, Javier says, at the end of that, never stop learning. You never think you know it all, even if you've been doing it 30 years. Well, Javier, I've been doing it for 42. I'm still learning, so it's great. Brett Baker says, my old boss always says the same thing. You can never learn enough. He was a writer on the National Electrical Code. Gabriel Max says, going from landscaping to plumbing. There you go. Just starting to get my feet wet. Open shop for a plumber. Just him and the company. So you should be able to learn a lot. That's good. Hello, Miss Eileen Joy. How are you? And thank you because I love being in here. See how far back I am. Alfie Shiver says, it's amazing to see people's opinions and questions on this channel. Uh, it goes to show that there is some happy people. In life. I think most people, if you're in the trades, if you're in the trades, just put a hashtag yes if you love your job. And we were having this conversation earlier. I am so passionate about what I do. Sometimes too passionate. I don't know if I can be, but but. It's a possibility. But if you love what you're doing, do me a favor. If you're in the trades and you love it, put a hashtag yes. Kelly Lewis says, love watching your videos. I've learned a thing or two from watching your stuff. Kelly, just one or two, that's it. We'll make more videos. Master Plumber. No, thank you, Kelly. I appreciate that. Master Plumber from Massachusetts. Been in the field since 1985. We'll be retiring next year from 30 years in law enforcement. Looking to jump back in residential service Good for you. Well, GSO 125 number one, thank you for protecting us 
as a country. But man, welcome back to plumbing. Fit Long says, I started getting into plumbing because I enjoyed solving problems and seeing the customers happy at the end of the job. You know, and Clint, that is such a good reason. And people ask me a lot, what, what is your favorite reason for getting into plumbing or doing what you do? And, and I truthfully got to say that I love finding problems. I love analyzing and searching. That's why I think I specialize in slab leak and leak detection because it is huge. Crosby TV, this is Journeyman Plumber here in Pinellas Park, Florida. Big fan of yours. Thank you very much. I was actually just in Fort Lauderdale two weeks ago. Uh, Paul Mace says, love watching your videos. I mean, here says, working on my website using Wix. Test is on the 2nd of November. Got a quote for insurance that way. Uh, I can have that ready when I pass. Made a basic, basic logo using Wix tools and currently working on something you own, figuring out how to start a business account. Well, number one, you'll need a DBA or your... Uh, your registration with the state on your name, an LLC or S Corp or whatever, those will help you out. Architectural Sheet Metal says, built my own house this year. With what I've learned in the trades, I probably saved about eighty to 100000 in exterior finishes. You can't put a dollar amount on the skills I've learned. You know, and that's the neat thing is, you know, if I'm being honest with y'all, I can't tell y'all how many times I have fixed stuff around my house Ex-girlfriend's houses, ex-girlfriend's family's houses, ex-in-laws. It is great stuff. Trevor Henderson says, is the Johnny Curtin class worth taking or is there a better class to take? Trevor, Johnny Curtin's is probably one of the best. And I say that not because I've taken it, but I know Johnny. He wrote most of the tests. So I'd say you're pretty well off with Johnny Curtin. Crosby TV says, what's your opinion on the next first stuff that plumbing companies buy into? Well, I got to tell you, and, and look, the, the company that I sold to is part of Nexstar. I went to the business planning workshop last year, my first event with them in November. Man, I got to tell you, it was fantastic. I got a lot out of it. I thought it was really, really good for me. Livestream Media Network says, you look and sound beautiful, sir. Not sure how I sound, but looking at me in the monitor, I think you're right. I don't look too bad. I try to cut my hair every Monday morning, so I got cleaned up just for y'all. Ben Landry says, to answer Roger's question, why did I decide to enter the plumbing profession? Plumbing offers a financial stability, entrepreneurship, a valuable career, and a profession I will never stop learning. And a professional, I will never stop learning. Good for you. Also seems to stress life balance, seems fair. Yeah, both of those. There's what he wrote first, and it does seem pretty fair. Crosby TV, I like Nexstar. From what I've learned from them, it's been fantastic. I've got a coach there named Bill Weaver. Man, I just, I love him. This guy is sharp. Ben Landry says, Roger, do you hold seminars or speak at plumbing conferences? Ben, when I get asked, I, I speak at plumbing conferences. I am in the plans or in the process of building four courses, how to help people get in the trades, how to help them become better tradesmen. And these are tradesmen that become foremen, superintendents, things like that. How to start their own company. And then how to use networking social media, video, and SEO to grow a company organically. So, man, I'm working on building that. After I get all that built, then I'm going to host my own conference. So just things I've got in the work. All right, David Henderson, man, we got the yeses are overwhelming. Yes, Architectural Sheet Metal, Javier, Alfie Shivers. Eileen Joyce says, I enjoy learning. That is why I watch your videos. Number one, thank you very much. I love that. Okay, so again, I'm going to repeat it. We're going live this next Saturday. We're going to quit doing the Monday show. Just because I get so many comments from people saying, man, I wish you wouldn't do it on, I mean, I wish you'd do it on a weekend so I could watch it. 
most trades people are working right now. I get it. Uh, hold on. Ah. Changing things up just a little bit. See how this goes. Jimbo says, I love the trades and I love trade stocks. AO Smith and Linux are great companies in my opinion. Good for you. So how do you start and grow a successful trades company? Now, there's a lot of different things that you need to know. We got, we got stuff in here I didn't even know about. Just saw a spider crawl up and down the wall right there. See right there? I don't even know where that's coming from. Now I do. So how do you start and grow a successful plumbing company? Number one, if you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up, please. Uh, because I'm, I'm, I'm going to go into a little depth. But if you want to start a plumbing company, first of all, do it for the right reason. Don't just start a plumbing company because you want to make more money. Don't get me wrong. That may be part of the reason. But I started a plumbing company because the mechanical contractor that I was working for decided they were going to start a plumbing company. And we talked about this during the executive meeting one day. And I asked him, I said, so what makes you different? What are you going to do different? And literally, the, the young former nurse who was taking over the business from her parents says, we're going to specialize in social media. And we're going to announce that we have the best trained. I mean, sorry, not social media. We're going to specialize in customer service. And we're going, to, we're going to tell people that we have the best trained plumbers. Oh, my God. I love that. So tell me, how are you going to specialize in customer service? And she said, what do you mean? I said, well, if you're saying you're going to specialize in customer service, what are you going to do? And she said, well, we're going to make sure that our guys always say, please and thank you and yes ma'am and no ma'am and i'm like oh my god are you serious i said so what what are you going to do to have the best friend of plumbers she said, well roger all our plumbers have licenses i said i understand that but so does every other plumber in texas and she says yeah but everybody doesn't know that. and i thought what a way to bs people needless to say i wasn't there very much longer uh I needed to find a way out. Next question. And he says, why do you prefer leak pro leak detection? I can't find any reviews online and I like to hear multiple opinions. Here's what I'll tell you. And, and, and it's a great question. I literally started studying leak pro about seven or eight years ago, right before I opened my company, I wanted to learn about it. And I guess I have opened my company seven years ago. 2016, I guess, is, is when I went to Calabasas. I learned electronics, which I think is fantastic. Then I went back a little bit later, a few years later, to put in or, or to speak at a conference. This conference was in Los Angeles. One of my friends was in San Diego, and he was going to meet a guy with League Pro. So I drove down to see my friend, ended up meeting this guy from League Pro, and I'm like, oh, my God, I love this. I fell in love with the product, and I've been trying to get involved with it since then. It's what I use more than anything else. So, Andy, what I'll tell you is, when I found a product like that that I just fall in love with, and I think, you know what? There's nothing better than this. It is what I train my plumbers on. It's what we go out, and, and man, it's the first thing out of the truck every job we go on. For leak detection. And I think that is such a big deal. If you don't believe in it so much that you're not using it every time you could be, then I wouldn't. But I got to tell you, I think it's fantastic. 
Next question in the forum. And guys, I'm answering questions in the forum. You won't see them in the chat. You won't see them on the stream because I can't pull them over. But it's good stuff. All right. So this question is by Gabriel. Gabriel says, what plumbing jobs have the biggest profit margins? Man. That's a good one. Probably the ones that are just labor. And I'm thinking. And here's why. Materials. Man, materials can mess you up. If your plumbers are installing things and they're not listing everything they install, it could be a problem. But labor can also mess you up because if they don't bid enough hours. And look, I've had plumbers that work for me that you know, we, all, we do up front pricing. And when you give somebody a price, you that, that's your price. Well, then when you get a plumber there and they're calling in and saying, hey, where am I headed after this? Uh, we don't have anything on the books right now. That job can take all day long. Don't know how it works that way, but I promise. The biggest profit margins, and no, no, normally the ones with the highest ticket offers are going to have, I you know it's not a margin, but you get the most profit. It's, it's worth looking at and thinking about, though. And then again, it may be different in each area. Carlos said you should look at some of the posts on Reddit. So, Carlos, do you mean the posts on my Reddit page or some other Reddit page or what posts? Because I, I try to look at them quite often, actually. Uh, it may have been a little while. <clears throat> Let me see. I'm jumping in right now. Uh, I think I've got karma points. <clears throat> All right. Tell me what you're talking about, Mr. Carlos, if you're still in here. Uh, all right, so this is a long one, but I'm going to go ahead. This is, uh, this is, I'm an award-winning documentary filmmaker doing a film for PBS. Trying to get young people interested in the trades as a filmmaker who's a plumber and my main character is a licensed plumber and famous old school rap star. He's the hardest working man I've ever met. He tours around the world and will land at 2 a.m. from Europe, all under a customer's house at 7 a.m. It's a great story. We encourage young people to follow their dreams. Also get a trade. Everyone's not going in the NBA or NFL. Or to become a famous rap star. I've been shooting this documentary for four years. Now all around the world. Just came back from London. And Manchester shooting British plumbers and tradesmen. I'd love to interview you for this film. It's called Humble and Jungle. You know what? I'd say Mr. Ricky Kelly, reach out. I'd be happy to talk to you. Okay, so I am back home here. Okay, so I'm looking um my subreddit. Flex seal. Uh, I don't want to turn this up too much. Okay, so and tell me, I, and I know you posted in here saying, "Hey, go you go look at Reddit." Uh, talking about my Reddit. Okay, I'm I'm looking through it right now. So, Carlos, if there's anything in particular you want me to look at here, uh, do me a favor and let me know. I see all kinds of crazy stuff. Crooked toilets, no discussion. Uh, I don't want to drink your hot water. You have the, the water heater. <clears throat> yeah, I only dump grease down with hot water. Ooh. Handyman special. That's horrible. Cool. So, yes, Carlos, I see that. If there's anything in particular you want me to look at, and do me a favor, shoot me another message in there and let me know. 
All right. Clint Long says, yes, yeah, we've got a lot of people in here in the trades. So that is fantastic that want to start their own company. And the reason I ask that is that, well, I guess I understand my company. Uh, the reason that I ask that is that a lot of people don't even know that's an option. A lot of people literally, they're like, look, I got in, I'm a plumber now. That's what I do. And they want to do side work and stuff. I say, get get away from side work. Start doing real work, but get your licenses, get everything in place. That way, you don't get in trouble. All right. Jimbo says, never do work that you wouldn't put in your own home. I love that. Although I know a lot of people that would really not worry about what they put in their own home. I tell people, if you wouldn't put it in your mother's house or your grandmother's house, don't put it in our customers. All right, Carlos, I checked it out. Like I said, if you're wanting me to look at anything in particular, and maybe you put something in here. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah. Um, Carlos, I, man, I, I'm trying to see. I don't know that I can see any that you did. Yeah, I'm scrolling through there. I don't, I don't know that I see your name on it. But then again, it's kind of hard for me to see sometimes. Sean Strong says, okay, I'm all cleaned up, headed to the next job, but I can chat for a bit. Good to see you in here. Uh, I know, only 30 thumbs up. I don't know if anybody by now. Oh, we're up to 31. We're killing it. Uh, Sean Strong says, a rapping plumber. Are you talking about my friend Danny G? So that goes back to Ricky. Ricky, you talking about Danny G? So if I go live on Saturdays, how many of y'all are going to be in here? If you're going to be in here with me on Saturday, and we're starting this Saturday, put hashtag yes, or put hashtag me, because I'm just wanting to know if I'm going to have anybody in. Alfie says, my dad said my brother should get a job as a McDonald's worker, even though he wants to be a plumber. What is your advice to help him? Well, number one, Alfie, man, and look, this is something we talk about all the time. The trades are a great opportunity. Uh, you start making money in the trades the day you start. So it's not like college. You can make more money than McDonald's. And people that are at that start at McDonald's right now, maybe, maybe the McDonald's in your area is paying 18 bucks an hour. Plumbing may only start out at 15. It may, you may get 18. But we saw somebody a while ago says, says, look, I started at 12, now I'm making 22. You can get raises pretty quick, and they're normally pretty good raises. So I would say, uh, say no to the McDonald's, go be a plumber, learn a profession, and make good money. So Dave Henderson will be here. Zachary Roma says, where is the I don't have leaks t-shirt? I actually like that. Uh, Javier Vasquez says, yes, he'll be here. Sean Strong says, me, I'll be there Saturday. What time? We're doing Saturday, 11 to 1 Central Standard Time. <clears throat> if I can get my throat to clear up. Uh, Eileen, I am so sorry. I know you told me you, you, you got things going on on Saturday already. GSO 125 will be here. <clears throat> so. We're going to go live on Saturday. I hope it works out well. All right, Alfie says, okay, I shall take your advice. Roger, I'll tell him tomorrow. Sean, you answer that question. Dad wants him to go to work at McDonald's. He wants to be a plumber. What would you tell Dad to get Dad on board to say, hey, Brett Baker, we will have it scheduled. So, yes, you should get notifications. I'm trying to update his alarm. Uh, I might want to put it in my alarm, too. Uh, I don't even know if I've got it set yet. No telling. Uh, let me see. I know this, this is the fun part of the show. Where Roger logs into his phone to try to figure out. 
if he's got things scheduled. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, up there, maybe. Okay, I should be good. Perfect. I love it. Brett Baker says, uh, thanks. You're more than welcome. And we're, we're probably going to make it here about 15 more minutes. So, guys, if you have questions or comments, please uh, put them over in the forum. <clears throat> All right, Carlos, let me look over here and see what you've got. Just because he went to such great detail to make sure that I got it. Galvanized Pro Press on PEX. Had a plumbing tech that worked for the company I worked for. Claimed to have 23 years experience for plumbing. Only lasted five months. This was the final straw for the company. When we got a call back for this, at least he put pop dope on there. So he put pop dope on, man, I wish I could show you all this. Put pop dope on galvanized pop, stuck a Pro Press fitting on and pressed it. How many of y'all have done that? Very interesting. Joe T's in the house. I saw that. Right, records to the service seven McDonald's. Definitely in the trades. There you go. Zachary Ramos. What do you think about the Texas med gas? All one endorsement and not having to essentially redo the exam once you become a master. Number one. I've got my master med gas and my journeyman med gas. I know they're making changes. I think the changes are going to really help people get in the trades in Texas. So I love everything they're doing. GSO 125 says, I just looked. I'll be at my continuing education all day Saturday with PHCC. Well, here's what you do. You need to tell them, hey, can we log in and listen to Roger? He might be teaching us something from 11 to 1. Not a bad deal. Joe T, how are you? Good to see you in here as always. Sean Strong says, I tell dad that McDonald's is going to phase out as many employees as possible if minimum wage keeps rising. Automation isn't going to replace farmers for a very long time. The job is secure and it pays. Hey, y'all, what do employees do about... <clears throat> Nazi bosses, <coughs> Nazi bosses, N not sure. Don't know what you mean by it. Uh, we've all had bad bosses, I promise. There you go, Alfie. Artemis 860 says, like staying late for no reason. Not sure what you mean by that. <coughs> Mm, glad y'all didn't hear that. Anyway, thank you very much. Uh, John Song says, not to mention, I've been plumbing, only plumbing for 10 years. Helped a friend build his addition. Just got the heat in last night. Skills and knowledge in plumbing transfer into so many. And that is true. Side job six, there is a time and place for Use it when it's needed. I use Teflon tape, then pop note, but that's just me. It makes you very val valuable. Mm -hmm. Here's what I like. Now, Alfie, I don't remember where you're located. Here's what I'd tell you. Job security, Sean's right. It's always going to be there. But here's the deal. Trades the recession. And we know that there's a recession coming. Or I say we know. The government's talking about it all the time. Here's the thing. A plumber is a profession. 
depending on where you're located, if if it has a license, <clears throat> Texas there's a state professional license required. Ma'am. If my dad wanted me to go to work at McDonald's, I, I'd have said, yeah, there's no way. Nothing against McDonald's. I might have chick, picked pick Chick-fil-A first. But to get a professional license, I think I did good. This is, can you let idiots that love pro press not to press annealed copper? It doesn't last long. Uh, can you let idiots know, I guess. Artemis 860 says, so what's up? Amber Mendoza says, happy Monday. Doesn't the studio look spooky? I don't know if y'all noticed this. Have y'all have seen it that they decorated my studio while I was working today? I'm just saying. I think it's pretty cool when the spider goes crawling up and down. Anyway, I had fun. Uh, I need to dig his true job that day. True job that day. Okay. Dave Henderson says the plumbing trade is an investment in yourself. Flipping burgers is a waste of time <clears throat> that you could be investing in yourself. And, and Devin, here, here's what I like about that. If you're educating yourself, you're right. You're investing your, in yourself and your knowledge to make you a better person. If you're working at McDonald's, you're making McDonald's more money. Eventually, your goal should be to work for yourself or own your own company or something like that. Finish the job. Zachary Ramos says, any tips for a young journeyman plumber from Foreman from Texas? Absolutely. Zachary, number one, and I've already talked about it, never stop learning. Number two, man, look at what your end game is. Do you want to own your own company one day? Do you do you just do you want to stay a foreman? Do you want to move up? What can you learn to help you get better? And I look at things like leadership, communication, sales. What kind of things can you learn to give you a different mindset? What kind of things can you learn to help you motivate your employees? There's a lot of different things out there. Man, I would say learn all that you can. Never stop learning. And, and life will be amazing for you. One has a plumbing question. It says, if I come out to Texas, can I meet you so you can guide me into the service plumbing trade? Well, number one, you, you don't have to come meet me to do that. I talk about it in my YouTube videos. I'm building courses to teach people how to get into plumbing or, or how to get into any trade, really. How do you get into the trade? How do you pick the right trade? How do you make the most money? And there's so many opportunities there. But yeah, if you're in Texas somewhere where I'm at, I'd be happy to meet you. It says, yeah, if you're good. Alfie Chavez says, I'm located in the UK. And in the UK, Paisley, a small town up north. Not familiar where that is. Zachary Rima says, in your plumbing career, what have you done? What would you have done different if you had the chance to do something different? Zachary, I'd have, I'd have started service a lot earlier. I'd have gone to work for bigger companies where I could have got more training. And I would have invested in my own training a lot sooner. I did not start investing in me. Till about 2016, 2017. So, God, what is that? Five, six years ago? Man, investing in yourself, that's going to help you make more money in the future. Invest in yourself, your knowledge. What can you do to make you better? Because that's going to follow you everywhere you go. Sean Strong says, Amber, the studio is so spooky. I hope people aren't letting their kids watch. I know it's, it's tough, isn't it? Uh, studio's cool. Thank you very much. And guys, I'd say probably slow down with the comments just because we're getting ready to wrap this thing up here in a little bit. I don't have any more questions in the forum right now, so I have answered them all like I told you I would. Javier Vasquez says McDonald's is a job you do temporarily. 
Plumbing in the trace is a profession you do for a good living. Amen. Gabriel Max says, how different is plumbing in Texas versus Indiana? It's probably not a lot different. <clears throat> Maybe the depth of frost line, different things like that. You'd have to check the plumbing codes and the addendums to see what's different in the book, but I doubt there's a lot. Sean says, absolutely, Javi. Javi, and one of my folks just came undone. That was kind of weird. The spooky studio did that. Oh. I'm not sure if y'all can hear me or not, but I'm working on the issue. I'm back yet or not, but I'm coming. <clears throat> if you can hear me. I am trying to figure out the problem. All right. Can anybody hear me? If you can hear me, do me a favor and leave me a, a message or just drop a note. Yeah, okay. You can. Good. Uh, man, something came unplugged and I lost my camera. So let me come down here to my settings and see if I can. We find it, which I think I can. That should have it well should have. All right, maybe not. Uh thanks a lot, Sean. Uh Sean says, Hey, we, we hear you, but you've never looked better. Uh that would be Sean. And I, I can't even see my comments. Can I? Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> All right, let me see what the problem is. Uh, I lost power, but I have it back now. Um, um, where's my cameras? All right, well, my people are already gone for the day, y'all. So there's not a lot that I can do to find out why okay so i'm having fun i'm trying to figure out what the problem is all right as y'all can tell i'm not having any luck uh let me see this one more time. go back to settings camera let me try that nope uh, well, that's about it. You know what? Watch this. Let's see, let's see if I can do this. <clears throat> I got one more thing to try before I completely quit. If y'all can still hear me, do me a favor and let me know. Yeah, I can't even get that to work. Okay, well, man, uh, I thought that I'd try. Uh, I tried plugging in my phone to see if what I didn't push whenever I lost my cameras. So, guys, we're going to go ahead and shut down. Uh, <clears throat> and Sean's right. Uh, I, can, I, can take a joke. I can laugh at myself. It doesn't bother me at all. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Watch this. Oh, I had it. Ah, and I'm back. Check me out. I did figure it out. So I'll show you all. This is what I was trying to do. I, I was trying to go to my handheld phone. That way I, I could at least jump in here. And then I realized it wasn't a problem. So, yeah, this is my handheld phone. So now you can see what the studio looks like. And this is what it looks like from my point of view. A little bit different. There's my little slider right there. Uh, there's camera one, camera two over here, and then camera three way over there. So you all get to see it from my point of view, and it is what it is. <clears throat> all right. Let me see. I'm going to scroll through the comments here real quick. Uh, 
Zachary, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Lee says you're going to love the logic in Australia. Uh, 14 years ago, the union rate of pay was 32 an hour. And they were struggling to get farmers in since four years ago. The union dropped the pay to 26. I wonder why no one wants to be a farmer. Yeah, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Elaine, thank you very much. Uh, Zachary, thank you very much. Sean, there, uh, guys, if y'all got more questions, you can always go to the subreddit. You can always go to the Discord group. Sean is over there and Sean will make sure you get your question answered. Uh, yes, you can. Great place to get help or you can share pictures and video. We also love discussing the trades. Artemis 860, yes, 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 yes. I can hear you good. Uh, we can't see you. That makes it great. Uh, you can always make fun of me. And that, that spider, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, every now and then, on this camera here, you'll see it climb up that back corner. Literally right, yeah, right, right, right in this area here. If I didn't knock it over or move it or something. But anyway, that's fun. Uh, plumbing didn't teach him computers and camera. Boy, and that's a trip. And I hadn't seen a spider lately, so I don't know. I may have done it for a long time. But see the web right there? Uh, you can see parts of the web there, and every now and then you'll see a spider crawl up. There's the subreddit again. I uh, love his info, and he's funny. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, may have helped. Everybody can hear me. I'm scrolling way down. Need to retract that previous statement. I hear you not hate you. Yeah, I've been hated before. It's okay. And I I got it. Thank you very much. All right. Ricky Kelly, uh, Sean Strong. Uh, no, it's Mike G of the Jungle Brothers. Not sure who that is. Artemis860 says, don't hate a great man. Thank you very much. So guys, I am going to go ahead and shut this one down. I do appreciate each and every one of y'all being here. Uh, technical difficulties, they do happen sometimes. Hopefully we've got a power strip under here, mounted under my desk. And literally I heard something falling. Like, what was that noise? Then I looked up and my cameras were black. But anyway, guys, if you love what you heard today, please give us a thumbs up, give us a heart, give us something on Facebook. Uh, give us whatever you can to let YouTube know that you liked it. If you did, Thank you very much. If you need to give us a thumbs down, hit the button twice, please. That makes it go away. Anyway, I appreciate y'all being here. Uh, I will see y'all Saturday at 11 o'clock. So hopefully it will turn out to be just as much fun and get some great people in here. I hope you got something out of this today. If you did, or if you know other people that you know what might have got something out of it, maybe you know people that might want to get in the trades or get better at it. Please let them know about this. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, helping you make more money in the trade.